Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching psd to wordpress Lesson 5 and in this video we're going to style up the header in the CSS. Wow. Alright then guys, so in the last lesson we coded up all of the homepage content in the middle and that's where I've left it here. I just want to do one more thing that I forgot to do in the last tutorial and that is just come above this section tag with the home menu ID and do a div with a class of wrapper because as well as the header we need to keep all this stuff here within a central column also. So I'll take that end tag and I'm going to put it right at the bottom of the homepage content because all of the homepage content is going to sit within that central wrapper column. Okay. So apologies guys for skipping out that in the last tutorial, but now we've done it, we can get onto the CSS. So first thing we want to do is slide out this pane here, right click and go to new file. And we're going to make a file called style CSS and this is going to be our main CSS file. Now in the index file what we need to do is link that CSS file up so we'll do that in the head. We'll do a link tag with a href attribute of style.css and then its type is text slash CSS then we need a rel attribute of style sheet. Alright so that's linked up completely now. So now we've linked that up, we can jump into the styles.css and start styling this up. But before we do that, I want to go to view and then go to horizontal split. And that's going to split it in the middle right here. So essentially, I can now have the index in the top pane and drag the style to the bottom so I can see it down here. So I've got both open at the same time. All right, so let's get cracking then. The first thing we want to do is style up this header section. So I'm just going to have a quick look at the PSD file just to see what we need to do okay all pretty simple so we're going to style that up and by the way guys this isn't going to be a pixel perfect representation you know i'm not here to show you how to do that i'm here to show you the process of turning a psd into html into a wordpress site okay so if you want to kind of really focus on the intricacies you feel free to do so i'm just going to do like a general outline which is going to look good enough so the first thing i want to do is go after the body tag and within this, all I want to say is font family, Georgia. Now, this might not be the exact font family used, but it's quite similar. So I'm happy with that for now. So the next thing I want to do is give it a margin of zero to remove the margin all around the body tag. Okay. Now, after that, we're going to style this wrapper thing right here so we can make our central column. Now, the wrapper, I said I was going to give a maximum width of 1200 pixels but before we do that I'm going to give it a width of 100 pixels okay and then set the max width to 1180 pixels and you might say well why are you doing that when you said 1200 and the reason is so I can give it a padding left and right of 10 pixels so that's zero to the top and bottom and then 10 pixels to the left and right which scoots the content away from the edge a little bit so now in total it's 1200 pixels maximum width all right then to position that centrally all we need to do is say margin zero top and bottom auto left and right okay and now if i save this and maximize you can see this central column here this wrapper and this wrapper is centralized it in the middle yeah so that is how we do it because this margin auto to the left and right is working out what's left on the left and what's left on the right and centralizing it all right so now we need to style the logo. So we'll say h1.logo because we gave it a class of logo right here. And the first thing, oops, I want to do is delete that stuff and then give this a background image property. And it's going to be a URL and the URL is going to be in our images folder forward slash logo.png. All right, so now we've given it that background image, but it goes on and on and on multiple times. We don't want that to repeat. So we need to use the background hyphen repeat property and set that to no repeat. All right. Next thing we want to do is give this a width of about 100 pixels. All right, that'll do. And then set the text indent to minus 10,000 pixels and that's going to get this text over the top and scoot it off way over there so no one can see it so now we just see that logo pretty cool yeah all right so now we'll float it to the left so that we can also float that main navigation 
which is what we're going to style next. We're going to get the header nav because it's the nav thing right here within the header tag, yeah? So we'll get that and we'll float it way off to the right. All right, that'll do. And then after that, we want to grab the H2 within that. So we'll say header nav H2. And we're going to give this a text indent of minus 10,000 pixels again, because we don't want that to show up. We're also going to give this a height of zero so that it doesn't occupy this space and the nav can move up. And same for the margin, give that zero as well so the nav can move up again. All right, let's move on to that nav then. Let's grab the li tags within it. So it's header nav li. And we're going to float all of these left so they stack left to right like that. <clears throat> we're going to get rid of those little dots. And to do that, we need to say list style type none. That's going to get rid of those. Then we need to give them a margin so they're not all close to each other. And we'll say 10 pixels top and bottom and then 20 pixels left and right like that. And I think that will do for the li tags. The next thing we need to do is style up the links within them. So again, header, nav, li, a. And these are going to have a text decoration of a non, just to get rid of that underlying effect up here. So it gets rid of that. Then the color is going to be like a 333 dark gray color. And the font size is going to be 18 pixels, so just slightly bigger. And then after that, we need to just style this banner so that it all fits in. Currently, it's shot off there. So let's grab the main banner ID, which is this thing right here. And then we also want to grab the image within that. So I'm going to do a comma, then main banner image. And that's going to grab them both. So I can style them both within one rule. And I'm just going to give it a simple width property of 100% so that it's 100% of the width. So if the window's this big, it's this large, and if the window's this big, it's this large. All right, makes sense. Now then, that's right. That's why it doesn't work. We've called it Magrid. <laughs> In fact, it should be margin. And now we've got rid of that little gap left and right. All right, guys, so there we go. We've styled the header up here, and we've got that banner styled as well. In the next lesson, we're going to move on and style up this menu and possibly the footer as well. But we'll see how it goes. Alright, so don't forget to subscribe, share and like and I'll see you guys in the very next video.